How good the, the, the win over Thiago feel at UFC 200? Uh, good. It's good. Um, you know, I had a decision fight against Tyler Slavis, but uh, the finish always uh, does more better impression on the on the fans, the crowd. So people like it. Uh, but uh, I don't look for the knockout. If it comes, it comes, and uh, the same goes for Peter Belfort. But uh, I believe I, I will finish it. So yeah, you finally did get a fight against Peter Belfort. You were asking for it for a long yeah. time, since several years back. Now you finally get it. But sometimes you're saying that he's not really the same Peter Belfort since you know it has steroids. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And how do you feel about that? Like, would you have preferred to face him earlier, where you know he was no, more dangerous? No. Now, now he's a uh, playing field. Uh, yeah. Doesn't he doesn't have the duck advantage? So. I will beat him. Why do you think he took the fight now? Because it makes sense now. Because uh, he was going for a title and uh, he lost, and then uh, he lost to Jack Ray. So I'm number seven, he's number five. So it's not, it, yeah, it makes sense. So he, he, there's no other fighters. Uh, I think the other guys are uh, Anderson didn't want to fight him. So uh, I got the fight. So initially on your Twitter account, you announced it. You said, hey, after years of running, he's finally going to fight me. And then your very next tweet, you said, sorry, April Fools. Uh, yeah, what back, happened there? Back then, I didn't know if we would have that fight. I think it was, uh, <laughs> it was just something made up, but uh, eventually we got it. Yeah. We got the fight. So did he, was he resisting? No, I don't, I, of course he's not afraid. He's, uh, he fought the best guys. He, fought, he has a long career. There's nothing to do. It's just sometimes you take the fight that makes most sense to you. And at this moment, uh, it's not like he has a lot of choices. So it, uh, for me, it always makes sense. So with a win over him, what would that do for you in your career? Obviously, he's a he's a veteran of the game. Yeah. Well, he's number five, but I should be number five then, and uh, probably another yeah. fight. Uh, I don't know what the matchmaker is, uh, what the matches are with Chris Weidman and Lukaku. So maybe a guy like that, and then uh, we can go for the title. So Bisping uh, surprised a lot of people when he won the title against Luke Rockhold. What was your reaction and what, were, what did you, who did you have picked as a winner before the fight? Well, I thought Luke Rockhold was going to win, but uh, he was too confident, way too confident. And uh, he, yeah, he, uh, he underestimated Michael Bisping. And uh, actually Michael Bisping is not known for his knockout power, but uh, he just swing, he went for it, he got nothing to lose, so he won. And earlier this year, you were, you know, it was supposed to be that you were supposed to fight this being in London, and yeah. then it got changed to Anderson Silva. How's it feel knowing that, like, now the guy you were supposed to fight is, you know, the middleweight champion of the UFC? Well, it shows you need a lot of luck. Not that, but, uh, like, um, he had a close fight against Tyler Slatus. It could have gone to Tyler Slatus. Then he got the fight against Anderson, but when he was supposed to fight me. And then, uh, and then, uh, Chris Weidman got injured, so he fell in. So, you know, it's you need luck in this sport too. Just not uh, the like work your way your way up to the top. So it's, you need luck, and the path need to cross the right way, and then uh, you, you get there. Yeah. You ever wonder why so many of your fights get changed, or opponents change, opponents get switched, injured? It seems like that's a yeah, kind of a theme. Of yeah, since I've been in UFC, uh, three changes, I think. Probably uh, from six fights, something like that. I don't know. Uh, for me, the yeah, it's, I like it better if I know from from uh, way before, so I can uh, uh, train for the fight. But uh, at the end of the day, I fight. It's, uh, for me, it doesn't make that much big difference. So, so prior to the fight with Thiago, you said you thought you didn't deserve a title and you were planning on fighting out your contract. Does a fight with Vitor make you? more hopeful about getting that title shot within your co your current contract? Yeah, the, I think uh, if I beat Fitor, uh, you have Jack right now, uh, and then I think you, Romero, those guys are ahead. If I beat Fitor, then I'm right up there. But uh, of course, uh, Chris Weidman and Luke Rockle, they are ex-champions, so with one wins, they will get probably uh, ahead of me. Also, the, I think uh, a little bit like... Uh, but. Uh, we see, I don't know. First, the Fito Belfort, and then uh, a top guy uh, going to get me there. Uh, last time you were in England, uh, you fought Talis Leighton, and uh, the crowd were booing, and you weren't happy after that fight as well. Do you mind fighting again in England? No, I don't mind, because it was, uh, wasn't that exciting of a fight, but uh, Talis Leighton is a difficult opponent to finish. And uh, if I would have been too aggressive, he would have just uh, go for the takedown constantly. And, uh, 
It depends on the opponent. I think Fido Belfort makes a good matchup, and uh, it's gonna be not to go the same way. Uh, it's gonna, it depends on the opponent, the different tactics, different game plan. So no, but he was he wasn't doing a lot, and he was uh, behind on the scorecard. So I don't think uh, it was that much my fault. I just I just fought my fight. If he, if you're the guy that's behind you, you should bring the fight. Yeah. And who wins out of uh, Bisping and Dan Henderson? Uh, Bisping has better chances now. But, uh, the, whatever you lose, you don't. You never lose your knockout power. So you never know. It could be a surprise, but uh, he has better condition, Michael Bisping. So if he's smart, he take it to the, the later rounds, and uh, he will he will get the win probably. Just wanted to get your thoughts on Joe Silva. Yeah. Obviously, leaving the UFC yeah. later in the year. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think he, he made a, he's a good uh, what he does, and uh, I don't know who they're gonna replace him with. But uh, I think uh, he, he made a lot of great matchups. I think he's a good uh, matchmaker, not just for the fans, but also they know how to build a fighter and bring up. So I think uh, they need a good replacement for him. There are reports that uh, you should have faced uh, Daniel Cormier at UFC 200 after John Jones. Um, yeah, had to they, he had to be taken off the card. How far were those talks with the UFC uh, for facing Daniel Cormier? Well, uh, first uh, I got the fight. Uh, they said yes, and then uh, they went and came up with Anderson, who just had surgery, who was lying on his couch. Somehow got his medical done in one day, and he fought. So I don't know. First, uh, at the, but I got the fight first at the first. But then, uh, of course, uh, Anderson uh, is um, people like the, that fight better because he has bigger names, bigger name, let's say. How big was your disappointment that you couldn't fight Cormier then? Yeah, pretty big because we were very excited. Uh, shot at the title. I was uh, I was pumped up, but uh, we see we, uh, now we have to take the long road. So we see how it goes. So now Anderson Silva has taken two opponents from you. First Michael Bisping, then Daniel Cormier. I guess uh, he has something coming from you? Well, I don't know if uh, the fight makes sense, but I would love to have uh, that fight. But uh, first Vito Belfort. And then uh, I don't uh, he's not going to take that fight because uh, he's looking for different uh, caliber name-wise. Because uh, he's going to make more money probably. Yeah. And how long have you wanted the fight with Peter Bell for court? Well, I wasn't. Uh, we were supposed to fight at Affliction at the catch weight. He didn't accept that fight, and uh, he went went to UFC and fought the same catch weight against Rich Franklin. And uh, after that, I don't know. I, people said, "Do you want to fight at Peter Belfort? Makes sense." And uh, maybe uh, two, three years. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. What kind of fight are you expecting from him? He's explosive and dangerous at the first two minutes. But uh, I've seen him with the last two fights, especially with Jacare and Whiteman. Like, uh, he fades out very fast. So, after one or two minutes, if he does his thing and it doesn't work, he's, uh, he's mine. Yeah.